Para un mundo mejor Y cada niño tiene un mundo Donde todo es posible It's part of you Lo más grande y hermoso Primero fue un sueño Lo imposible es el arranque De la creatividad It's part of you Dime cómo ves el mundo Desde los ojos de un niño Está la fuerza para cumplir los sueños It's part of you It's part of you It's part of you Corro Que por causa Causalidad paseaba por ahí I was part of two different groups that went to a the same neighborhood uh, called Shanemedla uh, as part as well of a non-governmental organization called Colectivo Tomate and we were working on a reading hall where well the first group we went regularly on Saturdays and interact with the children of the community and this idea I just gathered some friends, told them the idea, I talked to a teacher and we just went all through all the classrooms, uh, presented the project and even if it wasn't such a big project, I realized that people were also encouraged about this because they realized there were a lot of kids uh, involved and the impact it would have on them and knowing that I could have such an impact on them just by doing something so simple made me more conscious of my social skills because I was no longer thinking about myself but in other people and what I could do for them rather than just thinking of the impact it would have on me. And they are, I think that they are happier people because they get to be in a place that they once never even touched or considered as their own and now they think that it's theirs because it is theirs. Community teams began in 2010 as a collaborative effort to work with Colectivo Tomate, a non-governmental organization created by four former students from the American School of Puebla whose concern and social consciousness began at the school and were so well established that they continue to bear fruit. Colectivo Tomate regenerates communities through social processes by creating murals on the faces of houses. The designs uncover the identity of those involved as they speak of the past, present and future, of who we were, who we are and who we want to be as a community. The first project, along with Colectivo Tomate, was in Shanenetla, a neighborhood in Puebla city center, which has been declared as part of the World Heritage by UNESCO. Although Shanenetla has played an important role in the history of Puebla as one of the original barrios, it has been abandoned and currently suffers from economic hardships, which have led to a critical state of ruin that increases over time and contributes to crime. In the initial stage, the school community and former students of the American School of Puebla along with homeowners, participated in the creation of 35 murals. The result was an urban improvement, a stronger sense of community, citizen participation, economic growth, teamwork, and the possibility of a brighter future for Shanenetla. Este es un cuento que yo escribí que se llama El Mono Houston. Esta es una patineta que hicimos con un cepillo y pintura roja. A mí me gusta mucho la patineta. Estos son unos lentes que hicimos el mismo día. Este es un dibujo que se llama Detrás del Muro. De, y el cuento se trataba de Detrás del Muro del Agua. Entonces es un... Es un... 
Es un dinosaurio en una fuente. A barrio that was once classified as dangerous became an attraction for local and foreign tourists who wanted to see the murals and become acquainted with its people's stories. Neighbors who had never met each other now gathered to talk and organize to do more for their community. Citizens in Shenanetla realized that when united, they could attack any problem, achieve anything, and build whatever they want and need. Shanenetla has a very young population. Every afternoon, most of the children from the barrio go out to play on the street while their parents work. This makes them very vulnerable to dangerous situations or even illegal activities. Quickly, the organized community realized it was very important to offer a safe space for these children to grow. This was seen as a new opportunity, and both Shenanetla and the school community arrived at the conclusion that the construction of a community library would be an excellent solution. Again, the American School of Puebla became involved in the construction, execution, and coordination of this community library which seeks to create a space for children, young people, and adults in the neighborhood and surrounding areas where they can have access to cultural codes, encourage reading, education, and development. <laughs> In the beginning, the space allotted for the community library was just an underused room filled with rubbish, with no light or floor. The American school students decided to raise funds in the school with the help of teachers and parents to buy materials for the construction of an adequate space for the project. Once the construction began, the students designed the space to have the necessary tools to work with the children. Since then, Every Saturday, a group of students, former students, and sometimes teachers and parents organize cultural activities with the participation of citizens of Shanenetla. Cuando, cuando se mejoró, regresó donde la niña le preguntó una vez más. Niña bonita, niña bonita, ¿cuál es tu secreto para ser tan negrita? We want at least to help them two or three hours a week to make them happy and leave them something for their future. Just, I mean, they're the future generations of, of that, that neighborhood. And, well, it's not all, all about them. I would say that they also give something to us. Putting a smile to them, it's priceless and it also puts a smile in us. While the community library is one of the positive consequences of the muralism project, one could not happen without the other and both improve the social cohesion of vulnerable communities through citizen participation and confront students with realities they even didn't know existed. Students, teachers and parents are always suggesting new ideas and things that can be done in the community library and with Shanenetla. This shows a very intimate relationship that has been built between both communities, a connection between them that could last a lifetime. The school community will always have Shanenetla to remind us of our responsibility as citizens of this world. And citizens of Shanenetla will recognize their power in spite of their situation to participate for a more united, and a just world. Quiero que mis niños sientan que, que su vida va, va a ser diferente a partir de un libro. Ojalá que sí, esa es mi intención. Y ustedes son mis cómplices, porque vienen los chavos del americano, vienen con, con mucho ánimo, con mucho empeño, se les nota la, la disposición, hacemos diferentes estrategias. Me gusta mucho que les lean en inglés, este, se involucran, esta área, es, esta sala da como para trabajar a oscuras, entonces hemos leído en penumbra, los chavos hacen sus equipos, integran a sus niños y ellos desde que llegan aquí al barrio van por ellos a sus casas, los traen a la sala, los acompañan en todo el proceso como si fueran sus tutores, o sus mentores, y bueno, al final pues sí se, 
se cercioran de que los niños se lleven algo, se queden con algún aprendizaje. Entonces ese es un apoyo invaluable. While many students continue to work every Saturday in the community library, the same social process was just begun in a new community called Loma Bella. Loma Bella is a housing unit with a broken economy and certain safety issues. There were people who had lived there for 30 years and had never done anything to engage with their neighbors. Students from the American School of Puebla carried out the entire social process, involving workshops and different activities to strengthen the identity and the sense of community of the target population. The entire social process ended again with a mural that remained as a symbol of the organization and power that the citizens have when united. The next project to be done in Loma Bella has yet to be discovered, but a new bond has initiated between two communities that otherwise would have never been in contact. Every community team involved, being the American School of Puebla, Shananetla, or Loma Bella, can now recognize their power to transform their city, country, and world with active and united participation. Sigan fomentando la lectura en su vida cotidiana.